How are you, Daisy Days? Today, I'm going to show you how to make really delicious kimchi pancake. In Korean, kimchi jeon. Very simple, simple to make. You have a kimchi at home, homemade kimchi or even store-bought kimchi, doesn't matter, any kimchi. But be sure to prepare sour taste, which means fermented kimchi. So if you have fermented kimchi, then you can make a really delicious kimchi pancake. When it's pan fried, outside crunchy, inside and kind of sweet and crispy kimchi and a little tangy taste, sweet and sour. This is everybody loves that kimchi pancake. You can make it. You don't need any other ingredients. Anybody who says I cannot cook, oh, Mangji show this. I can do. <laughs> I'll make just one large size pancake, and you can make double, triple this recipe. We need half pound. Kimchi. This is my kimchi container. Mm. I made it almost two months ago. Very sour. Okay, this is eight ounce. Eight ounce, after take some kimchi, always press down. You see kimchi brine. And about two tablespoons kimchi brine I will add. My precious container. As long as I have this, I can make all kinds of dishes with this fermented kimchi. <laughs> Today is just kimchi pancake day. So I'm going to use this, my large cutting board, this. Just to chop it up. I will add just a little bit onion because the onion make it kind of really sweet. So I will just add chopped onion around two tablespoons. So, we don't need the cutting board anymore. All done. Just uh, I can mix this with the flour and water and that's, that's it. So far, how long does it take? I think only one minute. <laughs> Just a half a cup flour. And half a cup water. Instead of sugar these days, I'm using swerve. Zero calorie, same amount of sugar. Half a teaspoon. Lot of kimchi. We use this flour as glue. I will heat up my pan. Always we Koreans have fermented kimchi in the refrigerator. And especially rainy day, all family get together and something kind of we need to eat some snack. And then, oh, you have any kind of vegetable at home, we make a vegetable pancake or any zucchini or any you know, chives. So we make all the time pancake. But kimchi pancake is also one of the pancakes we make. And then we make the big batch. So I just make the lot and then we eat and then second batch coming in all family eating together. So that was really delicious. Not just my family, but also all Koreans. They love kimchi pancake. Usually, we don't make this amount. Just a large, <laughs> big bowl and filled with the kimchi. Okay, mom is making and then next batch, third batch. This is my vegetable oil, but you guys can use any grapeseed oil or corn oil. When you make a Korean pancake, add a generous amount of oil. That's the kind of key point to make it crispy, crunchy. 
Okay, so I will just add around the two tablespoon. I will make it a large size. Just spread this to 12 inch. If you are vegetarian, make vegetarian kimchi and then make this. So vegetarian pancake, kimchi pancake, you guys can make it. Oh, important thing is when you make a Korean pancake, your pan, skillet, should be non-stick. If this is sticky, so frustrating. This non-stick pan is I always keep in the hiding in the, just my secret place. All the time I have to maintain, make it really non-stick. You know? So around two minutes, I'm going to cook until the bottom is crunchy. You need this kind of a large spatula, and then you put it, push this and lift this kind of easily, you can use this. But for me, just the flipping is easier. So you guys can practice. You guys can practice at home. Okay, I'm going to flip this. <laughs> Look at that. So crunchy and just golden brown. Let it cook a little bit, and then we are going to shape this. See? Now so I can move around. And two tablespoons oil is so like a one, two. So total four tablespoons. And then this oil should go to middle. How can we do? Use your spatula and just lift. And this too, this part too. And then just the shaking. My cooking has always have stories. This kimchi pancake in 2015, my first cookbook is a real Korean cooking. My writer was Lauren Chatman. So Lauren and I, we work together. She made this pancake for her family. So two daughters, a teenager at the time, she told me, oh my God, my daughters, two daughters love, love this kimchi pancake. Last time I talked to her, was her first daughter was university. And then the daughter told mom, and mom, I'm going home. So can you make a kimchi pancake for me? So mom, so happy. She became the Korean food fan, <laughs> just like you guys. <laughs> Okay, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay, I'll do it one more time. Nice, isn't it? Wow, gorgeous. I'm going to transfer this to here soon. And then all you need is just a fork or just a chopsticks. And then all together, just, you know, you guys tear, helping each other, tear and then eat. So when you hear this crunchy sound, that means very crunchy. Nice. Oh my, look at this. <laughs> okay, when you share with your family, it's just like a pizza. You can use just spatula. I don't know why I put this, my spoon. I don't need a spoon. <laughs> All I need is chopsticks. Okay, and let me taste. Wow, so delicious. Juicy, crispy, and soft, sweet and sour. Mm. You can enjoy this as a snack. You know, all family member, friends, and then you just keep, keep eating. Or even some makgeolli, or you know, so soju. Also, you can eat with rice. 
So because it's a little salty, so with rice also go well together. Today we made kimchi pancake in Korean kimchi jeon. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.